Welcome to Xamarin.Form Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use local notification in Xamarin Form application. Basically, here is my application and uh, I am typing here. Hello there. And after clicking on the set notification button, it will show the notification. And this notification pop over over the screen and it will take a sound. Okay, so how to achieve this inside our Xamarin Form application? So, local notification is a platform specific features in Xamarin. So, we need to implement it inside our separate platforms. Basically, here we are implementing the local notification inside Android project and iOS project also. So, uh, first of all, we are going to the PCL project and inside the main page, uh, I am taking a single entry and a button for sending the notification and uh, from this entry I am giving the uh, notification body so uh, inside our main page dot xaml dot cs uh, I am just implementing the send notification button and I am calling the create notification method inside our interface so here is my i notification interface I already created this i notification interface inside our PCL and um, here I am declaring the single method that name is create notification and I am passing the two parameters one is string for title and one string is for messages that means the notification body and the notification title okay so uh, we need to implement this create notification method inside our platform specific project so go to the Android project and create a class called notification helper and this notification helper inside the notification helper we just create four variable and the first variable is context context means the activity uh, basically we are using xamarin form application so uh, xamarin form application takes only single activity inside the android so the activity name is main activity so uh, we can notice that uh, inside our android project we only have the single activity that's called main activity and this is our entry point of our android application so uh, basically inside the xamarin form xamarin form application we only have only one activity that called the main activity so we need to take this activity inside the context so uh, here is the context and inside our notification helper constructor we just take the context so the context is android dot app dot application dot context that means the main activity and after that the i am creating the notification manager variable and the notification compact builder and also the notification channel id so we uh, know that if our android os is 8.0 less than h20 then we don't need to create the notification channel so what is notification channel basically android 8.0 launches the notification channel for uh, separating the categories of the notification so that is called the notification channel id so that is the main reason we need to use the notification channel for the notification if our application target is 8.0 and later if your Android application is not targeting the 8.0 and uh, and later then we don't need to create the notification channel ID but uh, nowadays all our application must be support the higher versions of Android so we need we need to set the notification channel ID so I am giving the a, one random channel ID you can create any of the channel ID and you can use any of ID so okay so inside our uh, constructor we are ju just taking the context and um, here we are implementing the create notification method so uh, this notification method take uh, taking two arguments the titles and messages and so uh, here I am creating the sound and the sound are coming from the resources and here is my resources raw and notification so that means inside our android application it have the resource folder and inside the raw folder we just put a notification sound and this sound format is web okay so here is our notification sound after giving the notification sound we are just uh, 
passing that sound to the LM attribute so that this sound will be so that this sound will be play when the notification pop overs okay so uh, here is our builder and we are just creating a new builder and passing the context here is our context and uh, inside the builder we just setting the icon for the notification icon so uh, inside our resource folder inside the drivable folders we have the icons we can set any of icons so basically inside our uh, xamarin form application the default icon is icon.png and uh, i'm not changing here okay so inside the m builder also we just adding some properties and values the set sounds the passing the sounds and the auto cancel equals to true and the content title and passing the title from here and the content text that means the content content body and i am passing these messages and here is the channel id here is our notification channel id and the set priority that means high notification priority high so when we are using the notification priority dot high this notification will pop over inside our xamarin form application if we use the low max mean and default it will not pop over the notification will show only inside the title bar it will not pop over okay so here i am using high that means the notification will be pop over inside our screen so after that set vibration and i am giving the long array okay so and the default sound and the visibility public and the set small icon icons so that's it after creating the notification manager after creating the notification manager we just checked if our sdk version is greater than oreo and equal oreo then we just create the notification importance and the notification we just here creating the notification channel and we just enable lights vibration set sounds so notification batches and importance and the vibration patterns okay so after creating the notification channel the notification channel will build the notification channel id and the this notification manager will create the notification channel by this method notification manager dot create notification channel and we are passing this notification channel okay so after the passing the notification channel the notification manager will be notified the notification to our application so here is our android notification so here we just implement the notification inside our android project so we have to go to the ios project also so inside the ios project we just create a simple notification helper class so inside the notification helper class we just in implement the i notification interface and the here is our method create notification and here is the title and message and we just create an another class of notification delegate class and this notification delegate class must be inherited from the un user notification center delegate and we just implement three methods basically these two methods will not do anything just this notification method register notification takes two parameters titles and body and here we are creating the new notification center and the notification content and inside the notification co content we just setting the title and body and title as title and body as messages okay so uh, we are uh, setting the sound as default that means we are setting the ios default sound notification sound and we are just creating a notification trigger and just notification request so after creating the notification request we just request that means the notification center dot add notification request and we are passing the request so that the notification will be shown to the ios application also so here is our application so that's it uh, we just implement the notification helper class inside the android application and also the ios application so this is the very simple task and just remember that when we implement the method inside the notification helper class and we are inheriting the i notification interface we must be include the dependency of that because we are calling this create notification method from pcl project using dependency services 
and using the dependency services we are calling the create notification method so that we need to use the dependency types so here is our dependency types of notification helper class and here is our notification delegate class uh, and this is the simple class and inside the notification helper class ios class we just we also include the dependency so that's that is for today if you have any query you can comment us so next tutorial we will learn the advanced features of notification so thanks for watching have a great day